is college football 25 running on the same boom engine that Madden 25 is using? Guys, in this video, we're going to go through and look at some of the evidence, and I'm going to leave it up to you, as well as stating my own opinion, as to what's really going on here. All right, so... Guys, this isn't a Madden video, but you are going to get some information about Madden that just came out today. But I'm, I'm bringing this stuff up in reference to college football. So if you're not a fan of Madden, stick with me because this is about college football 25 more than it is about Madden. All right. So uh, Boom Tech. All right. Let's see if I can pull this up. Boom Tech is something because I told people I told somebody I said, man. College is going to be on the same engine. I really think college football is operating on the new physics engine that Madden is operating on. And I you know, just put that's what I think head up. But let's look at some of the evidence. So physics based tackling uh, cut loose and attack dive, attack the ball with powerful hit sticks, cut sticks, trucks, dives and stiff arms with more control and realism than ever. Uh, a new data driven physics system. Here it goes. A new data driven physics system considers timing momentum weight speed strength and player ratings to inform one-on-one -on -one ball carrier impact for a wide variety of explosive and authentic physical outcomes first of all guys we've heard this before with madden this is nothing new uh and i can hear the crowd saying that one thing you got to realize is this anytime you get a new engine that does improve on these things you're gonna say that they improve on these things the um the field sense engine or whatever they used in frostbite it did improve on that now i think this is still running on the um it's still running on frostbite if i'm not mistaken the whole boom stuff is not so much an engine it's it's the upgraded form of field sense does that make sense so even even tells you here field sense is taken to the next level with this new physics informed dynamic tackling system only on PlayStation and Xbox Series X. So I don't even, is Madden even coming out on PS4, guys? I don't know. But apparently, let's see, uh, final image coming soon. That's crazy. I don't even have that. Uh, they're redoing the hit stick. Okay. That's not what I'm getting at here to kind of prove my point that college is possibly operating on the same, uh, the same physics based engine. Um, but if it is, that's good. That means we're going to have some big hits. Ball carrier. This is, let me see. Uh, run the rock with confidence and command. A new ball carrier balance and recovery system gives you control to absorb a big hit, break the tackle, and recover your balance based on the quality of the hit and the rating of the player involved. Guys, how many of y'all have heard people talking about college football 25 when they say, man, you can really tell when a good player is going against a bad player? Some of them have stated how difficult it was to tackle a, a, a Milro from Alabama. Um, I've even heard some people talk about who's played the game, how they had a really good running back and like the smaller rated ball, uh, the smaller rated defenders would just bounce off of like this big time running back. Guys. These are, this is the same thing. I know you're going to say, DM, if they're operating on the same boom tech and all this and that, why wouldn't they have said that for college football? Guys, because at the end of the day, Madden is EA Sports' flagship um, franchise program game. It is. It's their biggest IP. And so they're, if they were to say, oh, college football's coming back and it's operating on, on, the, on the boom tech, and it's a new physics-based engine and this and that. If they were to say all of that, okay, then Madden is announced later, it's, it's, it's going to take a lot of oomph out of Madden. Does that make sense? They are going to save those things for Madden rather than college football because contrary to what we may believe, guys, in real talk, more people do play Madden than they do college football. That may change once College 25 drops, but... Even when 14 and all of that was running, they sold more copies of Madden than they did college football. So it's a business deal for EA to not say in college football, 25's reveal that, oh, they're using the boom engine. They're using new physics-based da-da-da-da-da. You know what I'm saying? 
But guys, this is the same thing that's in in, in um in 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 the trailer. Okay? Go back and watch those YouTube videos of the guys that have played it. And they talk about how uh how difficult it was to tackle a Jonathan Milrow. How how hard it is when they had a good bat going against a weaker team, how the guys would just bounce off of them or get drugged for five yards. Okay. Um, here on Twitter, Mike Straw, <coughs> excuse me, he mentioned Boomtech is a new physics system that calculates player ratings and skill based timing. Okay, so skill based timing, guys. And the reason I'm reading this is because, guys, this same thing is going to be in college football 25. Okay, this is not, like I said, this isn't a, so much a Madden video. This is more, this is what we got to look forward to with the physics engine in, in, in college football 25. Okay, so what he means by skill based timing is. Yes, your ratings are going to matter, but let's say you hit a you hit the hit stick. You you you're you're a defender. You you don't have a very good tackle rating. Okay? And you try to hit stick but you do it too early. And I got a really good running back, a five-star running back, and I hit my truck stick right on time. I'm going to win that battle. Okay? It's basically saying ratings matter, but also your stick skills matter too. It's all it's about timing. Okay? If you hit it at the right time, let's say that I do my truck stick, right? And you know the animation where he's rising back up after doing a truck stick? If I hit it too early, and as I'm raising back up, you as the defender do a hit stick, you're going to lay me out because I'm going to be off balance. Does that make sense? Stuff like that, okay? Um, here he says, new updated playbooks. I'm not concerned with that. Right here, players can combine hazy steps jukes and spins with new branching animations now first of all this isn't new in 14 you had branching animations you still have them right now in madden where you could do a juke into a spin move that's not what i what jumps out at me this one jumps out at me why guys let's take a look at the uh at the trailer as i'm talking about this and guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel man it's greatly appreciated you know what i'm saying subscribe because i'm bringing you the best information out here man consistently um, there is a scene on the trailer where, where, where the running back from Oklahoma state, I think his last name is Gordon. Forgive me if I'm mispronouncing his last name. It might not be his last name, but he is on there. Okay. Let's see if we can't rewind this trailer and find it. Oh my gosh. I didn't even know I could do that on OBS. There it goes. All right. Pay attention to this right here. Right here. That's a hezzy step. Guys, that is a hezzy step. Okay? That ain't never been in college football. That's a hezzy step, baby. That's what I'm talking about right there. Okay? Watch. Hezzy. Okay? Freeze frame. That's the hezzy step that I'm talking about. That is the same thing, guys, that is in this right here so you mean to tell me that they put the hezzy step in on the old physics engine yeah -uh. Uh -uh. okay they even showed uh uh edwards from michigan bouncing off of guys you see what i'm saying and that's boom tech okay now let me see if i can get some more information features do i want to look at that gameplay uh where is it at where is it at more in-depth stuff uh timing momentum weight and speed yeah so i've read that we talked about the hit stick we talked about ball carrier balance so you get what i'm saying guys this is on this is the same this is the same engine dude this is the same boom what they call it boom boom tech because Madden is still, if I'm not mistaken, they're still on the Frostbite engine. They haven't, like, it, it, okay, so when you hear Boom Tech, that's not the same as the uh, uh, the Frostbite engine. The engine is how the entire game is built. The concept behind how these players operate and move is the, like, in Madden, it was the field sense, and now they're saying, like, the Boom Tech. That's all the same thing, man. This game is operating on the same thing. Tell me what you think. In the comment section, do you think that it's, oh, it's a different physics engine? Look at that. He just bounced off of that dude. I mean, he got, he got hit. Matter of fact, 
matter of fact, matter of fact, where is it? Let's let's go back to this. Let's back up a little bit. Okay. He bounces off of that guy. Look at the timing. This is what I'm talking about with timing. Okay. He's going to bounce off of that guy. Boom. He bounced off of that guy. He is out of position right now to make a play. This is what they would call off balance. And so what happens as a result? Boom. Hit stick. He gets laid out. Guys, it's the same thing. So for y'all Madden fans, this is what you got to look forward to in Madden 25. Okay. Now, here's another thing uh, that I wanted to that I wanted to share with y'all. Let me go to my profile because it's me. Okay. Team builder. Hey, I'm not worried about that. Um, it was on the EA website, guys. But what they said was that the Boom Tech has been in development, listen up, for two years. For two years, ladies and gentlemen. For two years. Okay, so let's go to that so y'all can see what I'm talking about here. This is the page that I was looking for. Okay. Um, gameplay, Boom Tech. All right. They say here, we talked about that. We read that a little bit. In Madden, in okay, and it says here, in Madden 23, all right, the team introduced Field Sense, animation branching system to deliver out on control rather than outcomes that feel more scripted or predetermined. This year, Madden 25, that vision has been accelerating and introduction of Boom Tech, our next gameplay innovation. Listen to this. That has been over two years in the making. Guys, how long have they been developing college football 25? Don't worry. I'll wait. Guys, it's been three years. Okay. They're using the same thing in college football that they're using in Madden. Now, is that a bad thing? No, man. Y'all watch the trailer. Y'all see the stuff happening right here. Okay. That's not a bad thing. And I'm going to play this again. The guy right here, he's off balance. Do you see the defender right there? I wish I could slow this down, man. I wish I could slow this down. Look at the defender right here. He's off balance, bro. Boom. The running back at this point is not on balance. And this is why the defender could come in and lay a hit stick. He gets underneath him. Boom. That's a big hit, dude. That's a big hit. Tell me we are not seeing the same thing. We are, man. And like I said, it's not a bad thing at all. This is a very good thing if Madden is able to replicate some of this stuff because the, the hitting in Madden has been lackluster. You know, running backs are stiff, not agile. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, they, it's just not, not impressive. Running the ball. It doesn't feel good. Now, guys, this does not mean, because I can hear people already, so Madden is going to be just like NCAA. No, it is not, guys. It is not. And the reason why is because with college, they program the game to play differently because they, there needs to be a reflection of the highest rated characters between the lowest rated characters i was listening to own one talk today on his little podcast thing and he's even he's reiterated the same thing today that the good play like you can tell a a very clear difference between the good players and the not so good players college has always done that the college development team at ea sports has always done a phenomenal job of doing that madden they don't want that same thing so they do make the players play closer your backups are going to be decently as good as the starters not as good as the superstars but they're still going to be good in college football 25 your backups probably aren't gonna be as good and thus the um the wear and tear system comes into play because your backup can be a drastically big drop off. Now, if you Alabama, or Georgia or Texas, your backups are still going to be decent now. But if you're at a smaller school, Louisiana Tech, Kennesaw State, Louisiana Monroe, it's going to be a night and day difference between your starters and your backups. You get what I'm saying? So this game is, is not even though and I'm speculating here based off the evidence I'm giving. Even though it has the same boom technology, the same physics based 
the new physics that's coming to Madden, it's the same same thing in college football. These games are not going to play the same. Now, another big question. Are you going to have the same issues that you have in Madden in college football? Once again, the coding is different. How the game plays is different. So I doubt it. I'm not saying college won't have its own issues, but it won't be the same issues that Madden has just because of programming. OK, now with them being on the same engine, sharing the same technology, which they've always done, by the way. There could be some similarities in certain errors and things like that. But like I said, the game is programmed a little bit different to respond and react differently and stuff. You're going to see that you're going to be able to make a lot bigger plays in college. Downside is one of the downsides is, um, guys, I'm, I'm telling you straight up. If you play with a lower ranked school, like you're going to see if I play with the Cleveland Browns against uh, the freaking uh, 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 Kansas City Chiefs. Kansas City is, super, is a, a superior team to Cleveland, but in Madden, like because they're NFL players, Cleveland has a decent chance of winning. Whereas if I go and play Sam Houston State or not, nah, let's say Kennesaw State, the lowest ranked school in FBS against Alabama. Guys, honestly, unless you play on an easy difficulty setting, I, I would not expect to walk out of that game winning. And that's the difference in, in college and NFL. And that's the difference between the college football game and Madden. So let me know, y'all, what y'all think. Based on the evidence that I've presented, how, do you think that it is the same? Uh, do you think it's the same technology here? Which, like I said, at the end of the day, guys, they're not going to really do two different technologies. But some people were saying, oh, college is going to play on a different engine. The old engine while Madden plays on the new and it's like, nah, Jack, I've, I've proven in this video, I've given heavy evidence that they're on the same. They're using the same technology, which at the end of the day, like I said, isn't a big surprise. They're both football games. But the fact that Boom Tech, they said, has been in development for over two years means that, hey. This is the same thing they use in college football. Guys, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Turn on that bell icon so you don't miss a single upload. Till next time, y'all. Thanks for watching. Peace.